I mean, drooling. Like you are right now. Yeah, like you're exactly like you are right now. Sorry, I was thinking Harley Quinn. <sighs> yeah, what <laughs> are you thinking obvious. Harley Quinn? There was one day back in 1966. Okay, enough, enough. You're not enough. that old. Yeah, trust me, Andy, this is, you know, how he is on the show almost every single week. Um, I'm just... I'm the Joker. You're the Joker. I think some interesting things is that um, I think we're going to probably go back to seeing the villain of the week. Uh, lot because I came up with a couple of names. Dr. Light, uh, who's Dr. Kimono Hoshi Light, will be in here, a former... Is he related to Doc Ock? No, no, she's not. Uh, Adam Coppola, who is uh, who wrestled for years as Edge in WWE and is a WWE Hall of Famer, he'll be coming as Adam Smasher, who apparently can change size and is extremely strong. Adam and Smasher. Um, Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. Not Adam to be Smasher. confused with Ant Man, who's also the ability to shrink and is extremely strong. Yeah. Um, Jesse Quick uh, is going to be on here. I couldn't find too much on her other than the fact that she apparently is the daughter of classic heroes Liberty Bell and Johnny Quick. And wow. somehow she gets caught up in a battle between Flash and the big villain for this season, Zoom. Which is, from what I've seen from the pictures, almost looks like a yellow Flash. Well, that's just it. The Zoom was uh, very much the... I mean, he... he the, the person who was... Who is Zoom originally was the second version of the Reverse Flash. Um, which then... Also known as the Anti-Flash. Yeah, the Anti-Flash. Uh, Tokamak, I think I'm getting a name right, uh, who's a, apparently a Firestorm villain. Of course, Firestorm is one of the Flash's uh, allies in the series. He apparently will be coming in, and apparently uh, Caitlin Snow will actually try to bring him on the team. And I don't know, he has some sort of energy powers and wears a stupid-looking suit, apparently. From everything I've seen, it looks pretty stupid. And then the big villain is going to be Zoom. They haven't actually revealed who the actor who's going to physically play it. It's going to be like a big mystery. But apparently it's going to be voiced by Tony Todd. And they're kind of comparing this to how James Earl Jones did the voice for Darth Vader. They wanted to have a, someone with a really sister voice. So how's that going to work if you have an, one actor playing the character and another actor... W. Doing the 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 voicing, they like, probably it, will work exactly the same way that they did in the Star Wars movies. Is that something that we see more often? Like, see, unlike with Star Wars, though, you actually don't see Darth Vader's face, but well, quite often they dub over. Yeah, the actor's look, voice look at Ray Park. Ray Park played Darth Maul in Star Wars Episode One, but he didn't do the voice for Darth Maul. So, I but mean, it's a lot harder to do it for a TV show because you have a very well, it small... It depends. It depends how they do it. You know, in the first season, uh, you know, they would, uh, all they had to do is just shake the face, you know, quickly so you couldn't see the lips moving. So maybe that's how they'll do it here. I, you know, it, it's definitely going to be interesting. I, I, like, I like that idea, but I also don't like that idea for obvious reasons. I, I think it's kind of like... Telling an actor that, okay, you know, we like you because your look, because, you know, your your build, your this, you know, but your voice sucks. Well, I mean, they, again, I mean, they've done that in multiple occasions. Shoot, all Arnold Schwarzenegger's very first movie, Hercules Comes to America or something. They went off and did that with Arnold. Uh, that's probably because he was on so much steroids he couldn't talk in the first place. Well, they, they have autotude for figures, so why not? That is true. Yes, very true. Uh, but going back to Zoom, apparently this character, this villain, is going to be even faster than the Reverse Flash and the Flash were. Wow. Um, there is actually some suggestion that he might, much like uh, Garrick, might be a uh, the Flash from an alternative uh, universe. Uh, he might be from uh, an alternate universe. It may be, you know, their version of Ibarra Thon, um, oh, who's, old, who's known better in the first season as Harrison Wells. And it's interesting doing a little bit of research on this character. It, the name of the person that was Zoom in the comics was Hunter Zolomon. So Hunter Zolomon may be um, 
Zoom, but again, they're not revealing who physically is going to be playing the character in this movie. Yeah, so. Zoom may actually be the only reason I actually want to watch this season. Uh, it'll be really interesting because I have a feeling that this villain is even going to be more sinister than uh, Ebor Thawne's you know, re- reverse flash was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and, I, I agree. And just a couple of little things. They might... There's, you know, apparently there was something about blue lightning in the preview, so yeah. that might have something to do with the character named Cobalt Blue. And, of course, uh, Arrow and Flash are going to be doing some ties in for Legends of Tomorrow. And there's been speculation uh, that maybe we'll see Caitlin Snow and Cisco Ramon go on to become their mad human uh, forms. Um, Caitlin... Uh, was actually teased in the last episode of the uh, last season of becoming Killer Frost and mm-hmm. Cisco will apparently become Vibe. I don't really didn't actually do a whole lot of uh, history on there, but I think it's kind of interesting because on the show Caitlin is married uh, to one half of Firestorm, so kind of like the whole thing about fire and ice. How do you get married to one half of somebody? There, is, there are two people and they have this. Yeah, they they, they were they were combined in an an accident, so like and they're able twins. to separate and become two individuals. But when they come together, they have one man's intelligence and the other one's you know physical ah. strength, and they can manipulate fire. So Siamese twins with a paper cutter and arsonists. Except one's like ancient, and one's like something else. Yeah, like one's like a university professor, and the other one is like a. Okay, so Siamese, <laughs> Siamese <laughs> twins with a paper cutter, arsonist, and a time machine. And, <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's honestly, man, you should seriously sit down and watch a couple episodes. It's I will brilliant. lay down and watch some episodes. Yeah, well, we'll know what happens there. You'll go off and get through about thirty seconds, and then you will fall asleep. Nah, nah, thirty-four and a half seconds. That's pretty good. I think so. <laughs> Thank you, Don. The Arnold Schwarzenegger was my favorite uh, favorite comment as well. <laughs> 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 Apparently, they're still dubbing them even today because, well, yeah, the, the steroids mess with his brain. Oh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> but, well, did they dub him? What is this? The governor too? Um, no, they muted him. <laughs> uh, apparently, they didn't do a good enough job of that. Then no, I'd be back. I'd be back. Um, you know, and and we've we never are, heard from him again. Um, well, if, if you know the last Terminator movie is any indication, maybe we won't. Um, uh, yeah, we won't even go on that one. That was another fantastic. The, the, the form. Chinese uh, release has really got its money really good. So, well, that's it, kind I, of I've learned one thing this year. Anytime a movie comes out, we compare it to Fantastic Four. It's one Fantastic Four, two Fantastic Four on a scale of ten. If it's ten Fantastic Four, it is by far worse than Fantastic Four, four has ever been. That would be almost impossible. I know. There was once, but that was a home video, and that doesn't count. I don't know. I still think that we need to go off and track down a copy of the original Fantastic Four movie that Marvel refused to release. I have tried hunting. I, apparently, it is the closest to the source material than yeah. anything else. I have tried to hunt it down. Uh, I found the site that had it, and then, boom, gone. Uh, apparently, they knew I was looking for it. You know what? Um, apparently, you can find it on Daily Motion. Uh, so that gives me seasickness. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to tr- check it out on like a Saturday or Sunday when I can actually get away from people. Uh, you know what? And here we are. We are slowly getting to the end of the show. And I think we've been kind of remiss um, this weekend past. We lost a uh, absolute genius and uh, a horror director legend, Wes Craven. Um, I will admit, I'm while I was never a big horror fan, uh, from uh, Wes Craven was one of the absolute best. Uh, yeah, I actually heard the news late at night. Uh, Probably before many many others have while you know while they were sleeping, I dropped my phone. You probably uh, cried yourself to sleep too. I honestly did. Losing him 
is like losing an idol. Um, it, it's unbelievable. What a lot of people don't realize is a lot of the nightmare on Elm Street was actually his own nightmares. These were things that he literally dreamt every night and he braved everything and made them into movies all the time and you know it's unbelievable and we have lost a great yeah and considering um I mean, this guy's not just responsible for the friday the 13th franchise he's also responsible for the scream franchise and so many others I yeah mean, Re- it, remarkable remarkable just absolutely remarkable i mean there, there's few uh directors that are probably more synonymous to their genre than Wes Craven was. Um, I honestly believe no one can come as close to Wes, uh, Wes Craven. Um, the fact that he lived and breathed everything in the genre of horror, and the fact that his movies were literally actual nightmares of his, proves how he was the living embodiment of horror. Well, it's amazing just how many... I think we'd be shocked just how many... Great movies have come out of dreams. I know that James Cameron, uh, he came up with the original concept for Terminator from a, a nightmare he apparently went out to have. Oh, did he see uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger naked too? <laughs> that probably would be enough to traumatize anybody. <laughs> Considering some of the movies that Cameron has went on to do since then, I believe he might have been traumatized. Well, no, I, I think Avatar he was on. Mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know they were on mushrooms and during Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> he nice. actually had a food poisoning because someone uh, spiked the food. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Don't let go, Jack. Don't let go. Let go. Let go. So we are going to wrap this up. We we'll have to run it. Really. So. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, first off, we want to thank our buddy Andy for joining us. Uh, part Thanks of for having me. Uh, part of the reason why our show was delayed tonight, normally we try very hard to do our show at uh, 8 p.m. Central Time. Our, our, our special guest needed to get his pre-show massage. Yeah, so we we really wanted to go off and uh, come accommodate him for the show, mostly just because we really just want... I wanted to have someone on the show who actually would agree with me for a change. Yeah, because I never do. Yeah, you never do. But, you know what? I mean, I think uh, if you're feeling up to it, Andy, we'll try to do this next week. And if possible, we'll try to do it a little bit earlier. Um, just so that... Two um, o'clock in the morning. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. Okay, so we really do need to wrap it up. Uh, so you can go off and you can follow uh, the captain and I on Twitter. You know, captain, you can... Oh, I get to start. You holy absolutely, you holy always smokes. You get to start. I know, that's why I was expecting something different. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this. Uh, where's my script? Uh, you can follow me at Real C-A-P-T Fizz, at Real Captain Fizz. I usually mess that up. No, actually, normally, if anything, I'm the one who messes it up. That is true. That's why I don't do it. You can follow me uh, simply at that mask guy. He had so, to think about it. I, you know what? I'm fighting a cold, so yes, just the fact yes. that I am able to even... Uh, live, sum breathe, up any, and function. Sum up any energy today is absolutely amazing. You can also follow the show at Fizz Mass Show. Uh, we're also uh, on uh, YouTube. <laughs> I really am not feeling good. I, I, I can honestly feel myself running okay. down. Yeah, you can follow me about three steps behind. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, Craig. YouTube. Look up. Captain Fizz and Mask Guy podcast. You'll find us on there. We are in the works of a website. It is currently coming up. Our logo is also coming up. I know we keep saying that. We keep beating a dead horse. It is coming. Uh, um, we are also no point on the dead horse. Though. <laughs> we are on Tumblr. We are on, we are on Tumblr. Uh, Search our we, name. <laughs> we also are on. Uh, I have no idea. No, no. Final statement. Final statement. Uh, you know, thanks for, you know, uh, <laughs> thanks again, Andy. I don't know, man. Uh, this has been fun. Again, if you're feeling up to it, next week we'll uh, discuss a couple more shows. Um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll actually let ca- the captain pick a couple shows next week. That's what shows I like, too, eh? Like Scorpion. That was pretty good, actually. 
Okay. Okay, now I'm going to actually have to watch Scorpion. 